Hey guys, it seems like the more I learn about survivalism, the more I'm leaning toward natural fibers versus synthetic fibers. Yeah, synthetic fibers are very lightweight and they can have a really good moisture wicking quality to them and be very wind resistant, water resistant. That said, the insulative quality just isn't there when they are wet and when they are permeated with moisture or humidity. So I've been leaning more toward wool and I've been buying a lot more wool over the past few years from the more easy to find items like wool socks and blankets which the blanket I got from a thrift store to surplus military gear like this wool shirt for five dollars. A nice thick wool pair of pants. I think they're Swedish pants, Swedish army pants from 1958 these pair and I got them from a surplus store for I think 40 40 dollars and they're brand new they've never been used and the quality is outstanding so for an outdoor activity pant that's where it's at a few layers of of wool and maybe a nylon outer shell and there you are for your your deepest temperatures your coldest temperatures I mean this is a pair of GI wool pants USGI issue from 1951 and these are 20 bucks perfect color nice thinner material than these ones so for a, a layering or a warmer weather so there it is when it comes down to it I'd much rather have natural fibers because wool some wools are self-cleaning if you can believe that and when they're wet they're still warm it's really the only insulation that's going to keep you warm when it's wet there are a few others Wiggy's has a sleeping bag with lamellite I think it's called and I haven't tried it but they're supposed to keep you warm when they're wet and there's also open cell foam clothing that people make and they make sleeping bags out of it too and that's something that when it's wet it will keep you warm other than that, it's right back to good old wool.